Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as you can see, I have opened this trade very quickly right now. Uh, I was waiting for this moment and suddenly I decided that why won't I, why don't I uh, recording this uh, moment and do the live trading video. Now, um, first of all, before I explain to you the reason I have, I have opened this trade, uh, let me just uh, show you something for the new joiners and followers in this channel. Um, if you guys wish to know which strategy I'm about to use in this video, uh, you can go to my channel and watch this video that I have recently uploaded. This one here, uh, the best forex strategy, how to make 20 pips every day. Uh, this video is going to explain for you in brief what I'm going to do in this video. I highly recommend that you watch this video first before you proceed watching this live trading video. Now, allow me pr uh, please to explain to you what I have done in this, in this trade. Um, also, before we go to that session, uh, before we go to that section, sorry, uh, it's very important to mention that in this video, I'm going to aim all of the pound pairs, pound in ZD, pound AUD, pound CAD, GPY, CHF, USD, all of them, we are going to aim the pound pairs, also we are going to scalp some gold if it's possible. Um, I might also uh, scalp the Euro AUD and the Euro CAD. But anyway, my main focus in this video is the pound pairs and the gold. Alright, so it's very important to mention to you the reason why did I place the trade exactly right here. Remember now, I am on the 5 minute time frame. Now, the reason I really love uh, trading the pound pairs, that a small reversal even on, that f on the 5 minute time frame can give you a lot of profit. Check it out. If I'm aiming just 20 pips uh, profit from this trade, all I need to do is uh, placing the trade right on that previous support level, which has been recently been breaking out with this bearish breakout candle. And right now the market has went up all the way, retesting that broken support level. And notice something here. Um, I did not draw my support line like that or like that based on that support return right here. Uh, notice that I have opened my trade exactly right here for a reason and it's a very good reason by the way um, look at that on the five minute time frame my friends uh, we can see that we have here the support level right that has been recently breaking out with this bearish breakout candle now where is the nearest wick to this bearish breakout candle or the nearest tail the nearest tail to this bearish breakout candle is this one this is the closest one right the tail is exactly right here and the bearish breakout candle is exactly next to it therefore that is exact or there is exactly where we can expect the reversal to happen like that look at that the market has made many many attempts on that level and uh, usually what's gonna happen next is that the market is gonna reverse exactly at the same level of the tail which is next to the bearish breakout candle that's why I was waiting for this moment and I decided to place the sell order exactly right on that level. Now, let's look at the 4-hour chart. Now, on the 4-hour chart, we can see that we had here also a previous resistance level. Now, something very important here. Someone might tell me, but Salah, you have a pin bar. It's a pin bar, Salah. It means that the market is going to now make a bullish reversal, right? Wrong. You are wrong. Let me explain to you why you are wrong. Uh, this is the four. This is the four-hour can four-hour candle. Okay, we still have 14 minutes left for its lifetime, and until then, you can never decide what's the final shape of the of the candle is. Uh, is. Uh, you need to wait for the candle to close actually. Then you can decide what is the price action shape before you decide that it is actually a pin bar. So far for me, it is not yet a pin bar, and the market definitely is gonna continue falling uh, the bearish momentum is so strong and not to mention that we had here also a pin bar however the market eventually kept falling down so we actually need to wait uh, some more time until <coughs> we see what will gonna happen with this candle uh, let's go to the one hour chart on the one hour chart we are seeing a very clear 
uh, broken support and again the market just retesting that level now remember that I am just aiming the bouncing from that support level from uh, that uh, support level here to become the new resistance uh, after that I really don't care maybe a new candle will open right here next to it and it is, it's gonna go down retesting that broken resistance level before it actually continue rising so what I'm aiming actually is the bouncing from that level so anyway uh, it's a good deal let's now go back to the 15 minute time frame and right now let me switch to the pound AUD now for the pound AUD I don't see really anything good at all at the moment uh, one hour chart uh, nothing yet I'm waiting as you can see I'm waiting for the market to reach uh, that previous uh, support level and I'm expecting for it to bounce once it touch it however um, I believe let's go to the five minute time frame I believe yes we can place sell order right here as I told you the bearish momentum is very strong and yes another sell order has been opened now the reason I opened this another uh, uh, sell order is if we look at the four hour chart we can see that the pair is actually falling down and as you can see I have marked this level here expecting for the pair to continue fall down to this level let me explain to you why did I expect the market to fall down to this level uh, let me just go to the left uh, let me get rid of the other lines so it will not confuse you my friends and there it is remember now I'm on the four hour chart and what we are seeing right now is interesting because we are having on the four hour chart we had support 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 and another support recently that support has been breaking out from this bearish breakout candle and became a new resistance and after that another bearish uh, another bullish breakout candle ap appeared immediately breaking out from that resistance and right now that support has kept its position as a support and guess what this support here is a support number one meaning it is just the first attempt of the support now that's the reason I have marked this level let me go back now to the current time <coughs> okay so that's why I, I have marked this level as you can see because I'm expecting for the candle to actually continue falling all the way hitting that very same level of the support before it bounces so since I know the candle is gonna fall down why won't I open or why don't I open another sell order the market is falling down it's gonna continue falling down for sure and that's why I place the sell order where on the five minute time frame we can see that we had here a resistance and the uh, resistance number one and the market right now is creating resistance number two that's very nice now let's just set the take profit levels look at that all I need to make money from the pound AUD is on the five minute time frame I just want the candle to reverse from this level here of the, of the resistance to this support level that is all I'm asking that is all I need to actually start earning money or making profit from this trade that's the beautiful thing about uh, trading the pound pairs a small reversal can means a lot of profit now since my take profit is 20 pips let me just set uh, the stop loss to be exactly the same 20 pips as well now let's go back to the first trade pound USD the pound USD is still ranging look at that I told you the candle is definitely gonna fall and it's gonna continue falling all the way until hitting that previous support level definitely yes because this support level here after the bearish breakout candle that support simply cannot be ignored look at that the market made really a serious attempt to break out of that support level however it just failed and therefore we are now on the creation of resistance number one it's my favorite attempt actually to at uh, the first attempt is usually my favorite one all right so now everything is, is good everything is, go is going well let me continue searching on the pound cad perfect perfect quickly 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 yes perfect yes uh, it was the right decision 
uh, I think I don't need to explain the very same thing I just did now my friends were clearly seeing that we had here a previous support level and that support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle right now that previous support is now becoming the new resistance it is the resistance number one attempt uh, that's why I have placed the sell order right here and I'm expecting for it to continue falling until it touch that nearest support and the nearest support is 21 pips away or actually 20 pips that's fine 20 pips that's, tot that's totally fine and um, let me just set the same as a stop loss perfect so as you can see you can actually start earning money from scalping the pound pairs even on the five minute time frame um, let me try for example um, I don't know Euro CHF let's see if I happen to place a trade right here and let's see how many or how long I should wait for the 20 pips to come look at that I have to wait for the market to fall all the way down to that previous support just to earn even more than that even here I need to wait for the market to fall for a long time until it finally give me the 20 pips that I really want that's the reason I really advise you my friends to use the pound pairs just a small reversal is enough to give you profit but also please keep in mind as profitable as it is, as it is it's also risky and uh, if you choose the wrong trades if you took the wrong decisions you might actually ending up wiping your account so you have to be very careful and wise about the trades you are selecting all right good so now we can see all of the trades are actually going into the profit um, let me check the pound JPY uh, bomber I'm late I should have placed the sell order exactly right here uh, the candle did not reach that level yet but however uh, it already reversed for total of uh, 12 pips that is annoying hold on guys uh, that's annoying okay all right so as you can see I have placed um, one second okay so um, the, the the pound JPY uh, setup is uh, well late actually we have missed it let me now go to the other pair pound CHF pound CHF we are also a little bit late because we can see that we had here that support level which has become the new resistance one and the market has reversed exactly on resistance number two uh, therefore I'm late actually and now it's useless to enter another trade for the pound CHF okay I believe now we are done with the pound pairs let's now jump to the gold let's go to the gold and see what we can get from the gold now as we can see the gold right now is ranging on a resistance level as we can see we had that resistance level after the bearish breakout candle that resistance kept its position as a resistance one resistance two and right now we are on resistance number three now of course the very first thing I teach on my channel is we avoid the resistance number three all right but keep in mind this is the, the 30 minute time frame let's go to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame what we are seeing is honestly uh, what seems like the second attempt because on the four hour chart we can see that we had that resistance which was also a support and later on that support has been uh, broken out by this bearish breakout candle then ah uh, okay okay yeah you are right I am right sorry uh, <laughs> uh, we have here attempt number one of that resistance attempt number two three four and this is gonna be the fifth attempt of the resistance therefore it's a big no I'm not gonna enter actually uh, I made a mistake to be honest with you I thought here that this is a breakout candle guys please pay, uh, pay attention I think this is one of the mistakes uh, a lot of those who are trying the strategy for the first time they fall into it they look at this long bar like that and they assume that this is the breakout candle that's the last uh, told us about of course I have to ex now to uh, think that this is the resistance number one now you are wrong because there is no support has been breaking out here look at that what you had here is called this is what called a fake breakout 
that's a fake breakout because the market uh, uh, pretended to actually break out from that resistance with this bullish breakout candle and the next candle immediately uh, went back down below that resistance therefore there was no actually breakout uh, from that resistance and therefore what you are seeing right here now for example that is a bearish breakout candle because there was a support next to it but this one this one has no there is no support next to it what it has next to it is just another bullish candle so please pay attention to the details to the strategy and um, you need actually to practice the strategy more so as you can see um, this is not a bearish breakout candle this is just a fake breakout let's, con let's continue go back to the 5 minute time frame now pound the USD is going into the profit so far it's in 6 pips of profit pound AUD also going in profit 6 pips and the pound CAD is going in 12 pips of profit a very nice profit we are making so far uh, let me now pause the video my friends and I'll be back to you later to show you how it's gonna end alright so as you can see the pound USD is approaching the take profit level so far the profit is $76 and that is nice uh, we can see that the trade is going so far in 18.4 pips of profit uh, for the pound CAD is still ranging with the total is total of 71 uh, 70 sorry seven, uh, 7 7 pips of profit yes 7 pips of profit and this one here is ranging uh, it's in loss as we can see actually let me just t tell you something uh, for the pound AUD the pound AUD has went a little bit against me however uh, we can see that we had here also a resistance and the pair seems that it has reversed right on it uh, let me just explain to you my friends that this price action right here is actually very good the price action indicating a bearish reversal once you see this candle on the top of the resistance like that at the top of the resistance usually it, mean, uh, it means that the market is gonna continue falling that's why I'm feeling satisfied with, uh, after seeing this candle it's one of my favorite price action which indicating a bearish reversal once uh, being seen on a resistance level now uh, so far the trades are going well in profit let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you the final results of all these trades and the pound USD is very close to the tech profit level I'm thinking if I should close it or not we are just like two pips away uh, no I'm gonna keep it I think it's gonna hit the tech profit level uh, pound the USD is going well um, let's see what will gonna happen my friends again I will pause the video and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen okay so I decided that's enough uh, $74 profit we have made from this uh, pound USD I believe that's enough let me just see and 76 that's enough $75 have been made from pound USD now let's check the other trades uh, this one is going so far in 8 pips of profit uh, this one here the pound AUD is still ranging and now it's entering being in profit as you can see good trades have been made and by the way until these trades finished I just wanted to explain to you something about my money management um, some people of course wondering of course why I am always having a small amount in my trades one second guys we can see the trade here is approaching the tech profit level very nice the pound uh, CAD is very close so about my money management system uh, actually let's uh, let me tell you something for example um, as you can see the account now is in total of 1214 uh, the initial deposit was 450 now the the main idea here is I am having for example two thousand dollars and that is a plan for being invested in Forex now not all of them I will put in the account I will just split them to four four uh, four sections or four nuggets so each one of course will be like five hundred dollars that five hundred dollars I'm gonna put in my trading account in my live trading account and then I'm going to trade it that is my investment now some of you might wonder why don't Salah using stop loss why don't Salah using big lots it's because I am a person I am just uh, I'm not something I'm not something special 
I have emotions and I might fall to my emotions. That's why if I put the $2,000 in my uh, trading account, I know, I know myself very well and I know I might actually lose it. That's why I'm just risking the $500. And the whole idea here is uh, that $500, I'm going to trade it carefully to reach, for example, $550. All right. Now, after making profit of $50, that $50, I'm going to risk it on the next trade. So instead of using 0 0.15 lot size, I'm going to increase it to 0 0.25. Um, on the next trade, I'm going to risk only $50. The whole point here is uh, I want to risk only the profit that I have made. Meanwhile, my initial deposit is safe. That's my philosophy in Forex. And that is also, also what I really advise you guys to do. And as we can see, pound AUD touched the tech profit level. Um, and I closed it manually because it's just exactly on the tech profit level. Perfect. Uh, for the pound AUD, as we can see right now, it's going in total of eight pips of profit i think that's enough i mean i really want to close this video and get done with this trade i mean it's uh, enough already uh, i think uh, 20 minutes is enough for the video and i believe it has explained to you more about how we can do some scalping on the five minute time frame believe me guys it's gonna be very good and very enjoyable if you do some scalping on five minute time frame especially on the pound pairs trust me they can give you a lot of profits but you just need to wait for the right moment to enter and don't rush at all don't over please avoid over trading no matter how much you enjoy the, the scalping on five minute time frame you will need also to be uh, wise about your trades so uh, that's that the profit we have made so far in this video and i really hope you guys have learned more about scalping in five minute time frame using the 20 pips a day strategy and hopefully we will see you more. I will see you again with more live trading videos coming on this channel. And until then, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.